it's not fair. There is not enough time in this world to see everything that this place has to offer. Banzai, Daniel-san. Huh? Banzai! Banzai! <laughs> Looks like our tour guide right here. Hey, how's it going? Welcome I'm Adam. Garden Garden. Thank you so, so much. Glad to have you. Dad, there's 150,000 tulips here. Wow, that's a lot. Look, Dad, it's the fairy garden. This is where the two fairy lives. Here's the great thing about this place. You don't want to walk it, you don't have to. They have tour guides and these golf carts. Just cost you a little extra money. <laughs> See ya. Man, this place is so cool. The koi fish are so big. We're on our way to the chipmunk cafe with my chipmunk. Are you hungry? Much, much. Much, much. Let's go. I am so hungry from walking around this place. And look at this. Are you kidding me? The chipmunk cafe has really, really, look at this food. Eat your hearts out, Rob and Amanda. Wonderful food. So many amazing things to see. There's a ton of volunteers that make this place go from the trains over here that we got to see George the Peacock the kids got to see that they love the koi fish ponds the 150,000 tulips my wife she enjoyed walking on this beautiful day and they say that the tulips are blooming they're in full bloom within the next couple weeks so make sure you come out here and check out Garvin Gardens this was a wonderful place to discover It's a beautiful day in the park. Uh, there is nothing like it anywhere around here. Spring is in full bloom at Garvin Gardens. This is awesome. We couldn't have hit it better. The main attraction are the tantalizing tulips. Oh, the, the white ones that had the pink in them were really pretty, but I also like those orange ones. They're all just gorgeous. Every color of the rainbow is on display. Not blue. So blue is a, a color that is absent in tulips. But if you want to tiptoe through the tulips, sure is pretty, isn't it? you better hurry. We're at the sort of the mid of the peak season. Garden manager Minnie Sheeler says this year's display is running early. We tend to look at the last week of March, beginning of April as the start of that peak window and we actually had that point hit last week. Weather is a big factor. Warmer temperatures cause tulips to grow and flower faster. Cooler temperatures hold them. Too much rain equals trouble. Tulips are pretty sensitive to root rot and to bulb rot when they're in the ground. I'd say maybe one percent of our varieties have been affected. Which is frustrating after all the work that goes into creating this canvas. It's a lot of coordination of getting the right bulbs into the right spot at the right spacing at the right time. Planning for next year is already in the works. If you look at the year-round process, I start my ordering process now. Um, I pre-order my bulbs by the middle of April. The bulbs are planted in late November or early December. For six weeks, 12 workers spent their days planting 145,000 of these bulbs by hand. And this is the result. Once the blooming is done, all the bulbs will be dug up and a new batch is planted in the fall. We are warm enough here in hot springs that the tulips won't perennialize. To get the best flower this far south, you need to start over with a new bulb every year. All that work is rewarded by visitors coming from across the country to see the colors of spring. In the south of the United States, this is probably the best display of tulips you can see. 